then the offer came to join Whitesnake. And now, was that just too good an opportunity to turn down at the time? Yeah. Um, I had finished the Skyscraper tour. Before I joined Dave Roth, I was working on Passion and Warfare because it's still my fascination for recording and especially this this brand of music in my mind you have to you have to honor your creative impulses or you slip into depression and uh i had to honor them and at that point it meant turning my back on rock stardom to create passion and warfare in my mind that's what i was doing i was surrendering my career because the music for passion and warfare was i knew it was very different it wasn't dave yeah. roth it wasn't white snake it wasn't anything uh that i had heard you know that, that you could point to and say hey that that's a uh, like avia musicom by eric johnson or hey that's like um blow by blow by jeff beck mm, nothing uh or surfing with the alien i mean it, all of those records you can't com really compare them to each other so passion and warfare was part of that because it was a um authentic offering from my inner ear um but then i couldn't understand how i was going to go out and tour it yeah. because it was one record it was a very dense record very complex in a sense and i didn't i, I was always com more comfortable with having a front man and just being the guitar player i didn't know how i'd be able to negotiate standing in front of a stage playing instrumental guitar music you know and th the white snake gig was on the radar right at the exact same time so i thought well it would make much more sense to tour with white snake and make a record with them and uh you know for the momentum of that other side of my career and lucky for me i really liked the music of white snake uh back then the uh, the their white snake album that sold 25 million <laughs> copies you know it it came out and it was a great record and i just love great singers and coverdale was a monster I mean, come on, you know, I watch that guy get on stage every night and deliver like a boss, you know? So I thought, yeah, man, I want in. And, uh, and it was great. I, when I got into the band, the, all the music was written and recorded for the, for the slip of the tongue record. And I, I just had to put the guitars on it. And there was an, there was another really great group of guys. If anybody was, uh, difficult, it was me. You know, I was a bit of a prima donna. I um I came from Dave Roth, and with Dave Roth, you learn you learn certain things. Uh, you know how to navigate the business and uh, navigate the magazines and the press and things like this. So, and plus, I had Passion and Warfare out. And it was, it was going, it was blowing up while I was touring with White Snake. So, uh, yeah, you know, we did. I did the slip of the tongue, and that we did a huge, huge tour, and it was fantastic. Uh, at the end of it, David uh, was going through some personal things. You know, he was going through a divorce, and so he disbanded everything. But I, I knew that um, just instinctually uh of course you don't i didn't know for sure but i kind of felt that i'd do a record and a tour with them and i'd i'd have to return to the quirky music that was in my head and i did 